as we continue to work through this bond program, we really, really should continue to thank the citizens of Garland who voted for it. And this facility is going to feature some very unique and enhanced experiences uh, in our park system. And three, go. We had groundbreakings for the Holford Recreation Center. It's gonna be a new 37,000 square foot recreation facility. And it also will have aquatic features with it as well. We had a groundbreaking for the West Garland Library. It'll make a world of difference. It's over, I think, tripling the size of the current location, um, meeting room facilities, opportunities with technology, uh, different spaces for people to be able to come in individually or in groups to be able to learn, communicate, uh, collaborate, and um, live their best life. One, two, three. This is just an amazing improvement. There are a lot of climbing opportunities here. The wolf head, the turtle, the rock wall, and then you can slide down to and from the top and the bottom tier on the slide. It's, it's just amazing. <laughs> you know, in 2019, when the bond package was passed overwhelmingly by the voters, the council made a decision, a commitment, to see this entire program through to its entirety. And, and so, from day one, we started working on the project. Three, two, one! During the bond study process and, and everything leading up to the bond election, the citizens were very vocal in that they wanted new, updated amenities. You know, par new parks, new pools, libraries, all of those things, those quality of life issues where they really spoke out very loudly about. And, and in parks, as part of the bond package, we had $117 million is just devoted to parks and recreation. We have almost half of the projects are completed. The remaining projects are either under construction now or in design. 